you're petite or have curvy hips or tend to carry a bit of bulk in the tummy area, you must feel not that confident about massive trends for wide legs, cargos and other volume enhancing models. And I've got great news for you because this video is all about how to get the maximum out of your skinny jeans, how to choose the right model, where to pay attention to, how to pair them with shoes and accessories, how to layer them with tops and jackets. So be sure after this video you'll get plenty of ideas how to style your skinnies both in casual and more dressed up outfits and rock them like a star. So let's get started. I've got asked very often if skinny jeans work for any body type, including unbalanced figure types, such as someone who has wider shoulders and more narrow hips, or someone who has more pear-shaped figure, or someone who has some tummy. And I'll be pretty much honest and straightforward with you. Skinny jeans are made to accentuate your bottom, your thighs, your hips, your legs, your ankles. And by wearing them, you emphasize it, no matter if it's slim or more curvier. So if this is the effect you are aiming for, you can wear skinnies. If not, go for less tighter models, such as slim leg or straight or even slightly flared models. But you can definitely change the proportions in the outfit and achieve more flattering effect for your figure by playing with different type of shoes, uh, layers, accessories, and I will show you how in just a bit. But before we start, I would like to remind you that I have created a special style portfolio for your height and figure with very useful styling hacks and case silhouettes, which you can get absolutely for free. Just go to the link under this video, fill in your height and your figure type and get this styling guide directly to your email box. You will find a detailed illustrated guide with very straightforward, ready to use styling hacks to achieve the most flattering effect for your figure. Plus, I have also included working outfit formulas for different occasions. I'm sure it will be very handy for you to go shopping or to finally declutter your wardrobe and get the maximum outfits out of your existing clothes. So go to the link, answer two simple questions about your height and your figure shape and get your style guide right now. First of all, if you want your skinny jeans or pants feel comfortable and look flattering on your body, opt for mid-rise models. Low-waisted skinny jeans look quite cheap and remind too much of 2000s fashion. Pay attention to the fabric. Since the fit is sitting already very tight, thin fabric will expose every single floor and can also crease in the most unexpected areas. It is really important to go for fabric that has enough body, dense and elastic enough to give the most slimming and covering effect for your figure. As you see here, in both cases it's leather, but the first one is so thin that it looks more like a legging and doesn't really look flattering. In another case, it is still quite thin, but slightly thicker, stretchy leather that not only looks more flattering, but also more expensive. And the last thing about skinnies is the length and the way they fit around the ankle. Nothing makes your legs look shorter and the outfit look frumpier than pants that bunch at the knees and around the ankles. Make sure the length is not too long, skinny fit should not come over your shoes and the fabric is not too stretched out because this is most of the times the reason why it happens. The good thing about skinnies is that you can easily take the length up by rolling them inside without having them tailored for you. What makes skinny jeans outdated and emphasizes even the slightest imperfections on your figure is the combination of two tight fits together in one outfit. And I have already mentioned it so many times in my previous videos that perfect silhouette is always about mixing the silhouettes. More relaxed one with more tailored one. And especially when it comes to wearing a tight fit, very tight fit, this rule is extremely crucial. In this outfit, I paired my skinnies with a very tight collar neck top and heeled boots. So we see two tight fits together plus high heels, which make the silhouette look frumpy and my figure appears heavier. The outfit doesn't look up to date and elegant in terms of style either, and even monochromatic cream color combination doesn't save it. Shall we fix it? I 
I swapped Kalernak for a blue man's shirt layered with white tank top for extra warmth. I also added padded vest from Zara and to make it even more multifunctional and warm, I added a striped wool jumper, which I can wear on the shoulders as a scarf or underneath the vest if I feel cold. I also swapped heels for chunky trainers from New Balance, added structured tote bag, a cap and sunglasses. I really like this look because it's not only very comfortable and cozy, but because of tailored shirt and structured bag it looks quite clean and pulled together and has this city vibe. Because skinny jeans are so tight in your thighs and your hips and your legs, you don't really want to emphasize the crotch level and putting focal point to it by wearing a short or a crop jacket. It also looks quite frumpy and outdated, so I would definitely not recommend to wear skinnies with shorter jackets. So as you see here, I'm wearing the same skinny jeans with striped cotton jumper, navy cropped bomber on top and Nike high tops. And no matter the bomber looks very modern and has this oversized fit, the overall look doesn't really feel modern and stylish enough. It's just too preppy, too sporty, too obvious. As for the silhouette, it looks unbalanced and a bit out of proportion. To fix it, I first of all swapped a short bomber for a long trench coat to balance the skinny fit and elongate the silhouette. I also changed high tops for chunky new balance trainers, again to balance the tight fit around the ankle. I added navy blue sweater and sunglasses to add some contrast and support black shoulder back. It looks much better now, doesn't it? Another point I would like to stress today is actually the boots. I remember seasons ago when skinnies were really high on trend, as well as over-the-knee boots, some very courageous women dared to combine both in one outfit and actually wear skinnies together with over-the-knee boots. In my personal opinion, it didn't really feel right back then, and neither does it now. So as you see here, I paired my leather skinnies with over-the-knee boots and fitted checked blazer. And I really have some nostalgic moment now because it reminds me so much of 2000 styling. However, I still see it on the streets sometimes. Anyways, let's just update it to 2023. To start with, I swapped tight over-the-knee boots for wide riding boots from Top 10. I balance skinny fit with an oversized chunky sweater and the last most important step, I added structure to the silhouette by wearing this beautiful vegan leather jacket with a cinched waist. This is probably one of my favorite winter outfits because it's warm, cozy, yet quite smart and elegant in terms of silhouette. What do you think? And continue talking about skinnies and shoes, I would like to address a very important question. Can you actually pair skinnies with high heels? Or it feels a bit too outdated and even looks a bit cheesy? And here I refer not only to stiletto heels, but also to block heels and platforms. To show you the difference, I went for these neon stilettos. As a top, I wore a sweatshirt with a print and again, that would be quite up to date a decade ago, but now it looks really too cheesy. The thing is, when you wear very high heels, naturally you create some tension in your leg muscles. So you can see that your ankle and thigh muscles start to stand out more. And when you wear very tight fits, such as skinny, it becomes even more obvious. Which is okay when you are very skinny, but if you are more on a curvy side, it's probably not something you'd like to put focus on. If you want to pair skinnies with heels, I would suggest to go for kitten heels instead of stilettos or very tall block heels. Kitten heels are not only very much on trend at the moment, but they are also more flattering in combination with very tight fitted bottom. I also opted for a very elegant white blazer and structured small tote in patent leather. Clean, elegant, flattering for my figure. And now, if I want to go full party mode, I just swap black tote for my favorite party purse from Paco Rabanne.
And because skinny pants already look super casual and lack a bit of class, I would not recommend to dress them down even more by wearing them with relaxed tops and shoes. Here, for example, I went for a hoodie and Uggs, which is something very common and recognizable for you because we see it everywhere in the streets, but it doesn't do anything neither for your figure or your style. Casual and warm doesn't need to look boring and frumpy. It can and it should contribute to your look and confidence. So to dress my skinnies, I went for the structured jacket with texture to break my black monochromatic look and paired it with chunky Chelsea boots, which are very comfortable but at the same time have this bold silhouette. I accessorized it with black padded shoulder bag and layered chain necklaces and I am ready to go, feeling not only comfy and warm but also super confident as well. Et voilà, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.